Hey folks, welcome back to Vegas. I'm Matt Peralt. Clearly I'm not Matt Brown, but we're going to pick some NFL football games for you here. Let's talk about a Saturday matchup between the Ravens and the Chargers. But before we break down that game, let's tell you about playpicks.com slash bonus. Playpicks.com slash bonus. Great place to go for some great no deposit bonuses and some phenomenal sports book information for New Jersey. DKPicks.com, also a great place to play. And what we're trying to do here is is we're trying to give you guys as much information as possible. This is going to be a little bit of a different video because normally Matt's got the screen up and Matt's got some software that I don't have yet. I'll have it in the future to be able to utilize things in the same way that Matt does. So it's going to be more of a verbal explanation as to how we go through this football game. But we're trying to get you the most information as possible in order to make the proper decision with your money. We believe that, look, the more info you got, the more things are at your fingertips, you could make a more accurate decision as to where your money should go. I will tell you where my money is going, but we're going to give you some information. Hopefully, you'll be able to make up your mind as to what you want to do here with the Chargers, with the Chargers and the Ravens. Big game for both these teams. DKPicks.com, playpick.com uh, slash bonus. And do us a favor. If you like what we're doing here, I'm killing it in college. Matt's crushing it in the NFL. You've been watching these videos. I'm sure you know how good Matt's been doing in the NFL. Why not subscribe? Never miss a video and help us get to 1,000 before the end of the year. We're trying hard to get to that number. We're getting close. We're inching up every day. We're getting more subscribers, more people to click. Do us a favor. Click right now. And then tell, go and tell me what you think about this game and who you're rolling with for the Ravens and the Chargers. Are you a big Baltimore fan? Why do you like the Ravens? If you're the Chargers, are they getting the one seed here? Are they going to be at home at StubHub with 27,000 fans rocking it throughout the entire playoff. So do us a favor and tell us what you think about this game coming up here before uh, we are done here at playpicks.com. All right, the weather for this game on Saturday, it's L.A. The weather will be the same that it is every time you play football in L.A. It's going to be 60s, high 60s, bright sunshine, clear, no wind to worry about. It's going to be a nice day in the in the LA area for this game at StubHub. All right, Chargers, 11 and 3 on the season, 5 and 2 at home, 6 and 1 on the road, 1 and 0 oh, that neutral <laughs> neutral game against the Titans uh, over in London, 8 and 6 against the spread. Last week against KC, they go for 2. They get the win in primetime. Phillip Rivers is sitting there on the podium after the game on the NFL Network talking about his guys breaking down the rest of the season. Pretty impressive, right? Every quarterback says one game at a time. Now, Rivers is like, hey, here's what we got to do. We got the Ravens coming up, and then he broke down both the Chiefs and the Ravens. Pretty neat. He knows what his team has to do to get the number one seed in home field throughout the playoffs. The number one seed could be determined because KC is playing at Seattle on Sunday. So on Saturday, here's this game. Sunday, Sunday night football. Chiefs on the road, raining, nasty, cold weather in Seattle. Chargers take care of business. They could be the number one seed. Massive game. Ravens are eight and six on the year. Four and three on the road. Four and three on the home. Uh, I, uh, on the road. Four and three at home. They're seven and seven against the spread. Uh, last game against Tampa at home, one by eight. Didn't cover that eight and a half point line. Trying to hold on to that last wild card spot because one of the two teams in the West, Chargers or the Chiefs, well, they've got one of those wild card spots already locked down. So the Chargers here know they're in the playoffs. The Ravens don't. Got a lot to play for. Uh, DraftKings, minus four and a half for the Chargers here at minus 110, plus four and a half, minus 110 for the Ravens. You like the Ravens. Totals 42. Uh, Ravens, plus 180 on the money line. Chargers, minus 230 over at FanDuel. Uh, Chargers, again, four and a half point favorites. Four to, uh, plus four and a half for the Ravens. Again, the total at 42. Uh, plus 100, though, on the total there. If you want to go with the over, minus 120 on the under, if you like the under 42. Uh, and on the money line, it's plus 182. A little more value there for the Ravens. Minus 210. Uh, a little less juice there for the Chargers coming up here for on the money line for this game. Ravens injuries. Ravens DB, Anthony Levine, a senior, questionable with a toe. Alex Lewis, the guard, has missed the last two games with a shoulder. He is questionable. Today, Nick Boyle had a concussion, suffered that in the last game. He is still questionable, and uh, that's about it for the major injuries for the Ravens. For the Chargers, 
Austin Eckler, running back, not going to go in this game. Still with that shoulder. Uh, Keenan Allen, probable. After hurting his hip in the game against the, against the Chiefs, he looks like he's good to go. That's big. And the biggest of all, running back Melvin Gordon looks like he's going to play in this game. That is very, very big. He's been trying hard with that knee to get back on the field. It appears that this is the week for him to be able to do so. Hunter Henry, their tight end, he's on the pup list. He's not playing in this game, but they might have a chance to get him back for the playoffs, depending on when they're going to activate him, if they can activate him. Uh, to go so after his knee injury early in the, this year let's talk about the offenses here for the Chargers and the Ravens let's start with the Chargers 28.2 points per game that's fourth in the league the number two in DVOA six in total yards per game uh, 12th in red zone touchdown percentage fourth in yards per offensive rush percentage 12th in total yards per game and Gordon coming back is massive for the offense they are second in pass per uh, 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 pass yards per game eighth in pass yardage per game, fifth in completion percentage, average scoring margin of 6.9 points plus this season. That's just, uh, but just plus three over the last three games. At home, the Chargers are outscoring their opponents by 7.8 points per game this season. But in over the last three games, the Chargers have only been penalized six times. So that's good. They're not hurting themselves with stupid penalties, false starts, and dumb stuff on offense. Doing a good job there. For the Ravens, 24.4 points per game. That's 13th in the NFL. 14th in DOVA on the offensive side. 11th in yards per game. Yeah. Number one in rushes per game, though, in total, they go 33.2 rushes per. That's largely due to Lamar Jackson. 141.9 yards per game. That's second best in the NFL. 1.2 rushing yard touchdowns per game. That's fourth best in the NFL. 6.3 yards per pass is 26th, and they're 20th in passing yardage per game. They like to run the football, like we know. Their number of plays, they're, they're playing a faster tempo with Lamar Jackson. More run heavy, obviously, but a quicker tempo. They're they're running 73 plays per game over the last three. That's up a couple of plays from their season average of 71 per. Uh, According to footballoutsiders.com, pace of play, Chargers 32nd, Ravens 3rd. (laughs) It's a big contrast in styles here. And when it comes to the total, which team wins out there, that could tell us a lot about in terms of how this game goes scoring-wise. Chargers are going to slow it down. Ravens are going to kind of go quicker, try to get to the line, move the ball quicker. They do go on longer drives, though, so that number's a little bit deceiving because they do run the ball a ton. To the defense as we go, Chargers 21.3 points per game given up. That's ninth best in the NFL. 12th in DVOA. Uh, DVOA and on defense, red zone D only giving up a touchdown 47% of the time at home this season. That's pretty good. Last three games, however, though, that number's up to 90%, so recently not great. Eighth in yards given up per game. 13th in yards per play. 24th on third downs. That's not great here. Ninth in yards given up, uh, rushing given up per game. Eighth in yards passing given up per game and 6.6 yards per pass play. That's ninth best. 4.3 yards per rush play. That's 13th best. For the Ravens, and these numbers jump off the page here, 18.1 points per game. Number one, 290 yards per game given up. Number one. Number two in DVOA total defense, 4.7 yards per play. Number one. 34% on third down. That's number three. Over the last three, by the way, that number is 31% conversion for offenses against this defense. This defense gets off the field on third down. 3.8 yards per rush given up. That's number four in the NFL. 5.7 yards per pass play given up. That's number one. 58% passing given up for a completion percentage. That's number one. And 63% red zone touchdowns given up. It's down to just 55%. Over the last three games, this defense is coming in here and playing very well for the Baltimore Ravens. So let's make some cases here for the total and the case for the over at 42. So the Ravens like to play fast, right? They like to get to the line and run the football. They do have some longer drives, but Lamar Jackson has cracked off some really big runs and he's causing defenses all sorts of problems because he's such a difficult guy to tackle. If you don't have sure tackling with your linebackers and safeties and cornerbacks, this dude's going to hurt you. Chargers are also better offensively at home. So getting Melvin Gordon back is a massive boost for the offense. Keenan Allen also along with Mike Williams. Keenan Allen going to play. Williams on the other side. The offense is starting to click for Phillip Rivers, starting to put up some numbers. The Chargers have scored at least 26 points in the last four games. The Ravens have scored at least 20 points over that last same span. So offensively, both teams getting into the 20s. Total is 42. There you go. Both teams getting into the 20s. You feel pretty good about the overhitting 
in this game. The case for the under, well, the offense for the Ravens with Lamar Jackson is averaging about the same number of points. But what's happening with Lamar Jackson at the quarterback spot is the defense has been rested and the defense, oh my goodness, time of possession's up 5% with Lamar Jackson over the last three games. It's really hard to come back on this team because they keep the football and they run the ball. So they shorten the game and they keep their defense on the, on the sidelines. And when the defense does come in, I told you the numbers, they're rested and they are ready to go. This is a tough team to move the ball on. The Chargers also been playing very well and they're healthy on defense. James in the back end, Bosa in the front seven. They have been just dynamic, dynamic players for this defense right now. If Baltimore gets behind, uh uh-oh, that's going to be a problem. Jackson has run for 566 yards so far this year, but he's only hitting 57% of his passes so far this month. He's not throwing the ball well. So if he has to throw, if they get down he's got to throw it could be really a difficult day for him and maybe the only score you know 10 points 14 points in totality for the Ravens and we know how tough that Ravens defense is so you can make a case for like a 20 to 10 type of win for the Chargers that's 30 under hits so on that Uh, a couple of player props tell you about at DraftKings Lamar Jackson total for rushing yards at 69.5 that's minus 115 Given up all those, uh, you know, given the fact that he wants to run the ball a ton here, doesn't want to pass the ball. He's a guy who can crack off a 60 yard run by himself. So that could be a prop you want to look at. The chances for Jackson to get loose because the Chargers pass rush getting up the field. He gets around it. Choo! right down. He could pick up some yards with his legs. That's something to watch. Melvin Gordon is minus 177 to score a touchdown in this game in his return. That's big. I mean, getting back in the lineup, this guy, you know he wants to see the pay dirt. He wants the end zone, and the team's going to want to give it to him, get him back into that scoring touchdown feeling before the playoffs start. He's got 13 touchdowns on the year, so that I like that one as well. And Rivers to throw for 252.5 yards is minus 115. He's averaging 314 yards passing at home, and I know it's really hard to throw in this team, but you know this is a guy who loves to sling it. He's been getting hot throwing the football around, and at home, you might see him get probably not to 300, but probably over that 252-yard average. Uh, in particular, if they get behind, he'll be throwing the ball a lot more, so... I, I like Rivers with that 252 yards for, uh, for the over. All right, for a couple of the bets here, and I, I think you seriously have to look at the under here in this game at 42. The Ravens defense has been playing so incredibly well. The Chargers are going up against uh, this team. It's going to be difficult for them to score high into the 20s. But this is the best defense that Lamar Jackson's going to play so far. He's played a bunch of junk defenses in the five games that he's played. This is a defense that can stop the run, that can get after it. And in the secondary If he makes a mistake, if he throws a ball a little bit offline, they're going to make him pay. And I just I I wonder about how many points the Ravens are going to score here. This is a playoff game for both. I think it's going to be approached like a playoff game. And when that happens, teams get tight. They play conservatively. They look to run the ball a little bit more, bleed the clock, shorten the game. I think the under of 42 is really likely to come in here on a low scoring game. And then I think you got to roll with the Chargers minus four and a half. The Ravens, if they get behind, it's going to be really hard for them. And I think that the Chargers at home are going to be jacked up. They may get off to a fast start. You know, I could see them getting up seven nothing here and causing the Ravens to panic a little bit. I, I just think the Chargers have a chance to win home field. Anthony Lynn is my coach of the year in the NFL. I think he's done a tremendous job with this football team, and I think they're going to be the one seed. I think the Chiefs are going to lose to Seattle. Chargers win this football game in cover. I like the under. Things are coming up roses right now for the L.A. Chargers. They are playing extraordinarily well. After all the talk with the L.A. Rams, the best team in Los Angeles right now is the L.A. Chargers. I think they're going to prove it coming up on Saturday. All right. I'm Matt Peralta, in for Matt Brown here on PlayPicks.com. Do us a favor and hit subscribe. Tell us what you like about what we're doing. Tell us what you don't like. Tell us what you want to hear more of when we're breaking down these football games for you. More picks, more stats, whatever you might want. And then tell us what you think about this game, the Ravens and the Chargers. Who are you taking? Who are you betting? Tell us below in the comment section. And then do yourself a favor and go to playpicks.com slash bonus and dkpicks.com. It's 25 bucks for free. Go play with some free money. It's the holiday season right before Christmas. Why not make some extra cash for yourself? Get a last minute, minute cool Christmas present for yourself, your girlfriend, your wife, your mom, your dad, whoever, your brother, your sister, your boyfriend, whoever you want. Get it going. So subscribe. Tell us what you think. 
Go get some free money and stick with us as we pick more NFL and college games. I'll be back very soon with more very cool bull picks. And Matt Brown will be back with more on the NFL right here on PlayPicks.com.